Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the GEPRC PX3 frame and the GR1206 4500kV motors. In this video I'm going to go over their features and create a bigger version of the GEPRC Phoenix 2.5 inch racer. Let's start first with the PX3 frame. Inside we're getting all the parts that are needed for assembling the frame, anti-skid battery pads, this 3D printed TPU part that will enable you to easily mount your radio receiver antennas and also these tubes that are going to enable you to protect them. I'm getting also two battery magic tie straps and also this much better one in my opinion battery velcro strap, LED tail lights, four pieces of anti-vibration mounts, two sets of stickers and the assembly instructions guide. The PX3 frame is almost identical to the PX2.5 frame. The only difference is that the wheelbase of the PX3 is 140 mm, whereas the wheelbase of the 2.5 is 125 mm. So the PX3 will enable you to use 3 inch propellers, whereas the maximum size for the propeller on the PX2.5 is, of course, 2.5 inch. Just like the 2.5, the bottom plate is a unibody plate, which means if you break an arm, you're going to need to replace the entire bottom plate. Its thickness is 3 mm, and this is a 3x frame, so the distance between the front motors and the back ones, and also between the two front ones, is about 95 mm. On the center, we can find 20 by 20 mounting holes. As for motors, you can use 11 OX and 12 OX motors. And the distance between the bottom plate and the top one is about 24.5 mm. Moving on to the GR1206 motors. These motors are available in 3 kV options. 4500 kV, which is the version that I have, 6000 kV, and 7500 kV. The 4500 kV version supports lighter batteries between 2 to 4 cells, and the 6000 and 7500 kV versions support lighter battery between 2 to 3 cells. In addition, GEPRC recommend to use a 3-inch propeller with the 4500 kV version. For the 6000 kV version, they recommend to use either a 2.5 or 3-inch propeller. And for the 7500 kV version, they recommend to use a 2.5-inch propeller. Inside the box, we can find the motor and also three sets of screws. One set for the propeller, another one for mounting the motor on arms with a thickness of 3 mm and another one for mounting the motor on arms with a thickness of 2 mm. I think that it is really important to state the thickness of the arms that each set of screws is intended to be used with and this should become standard because if you're going to use screws that are too long you're going to burn the motors. The motor itself is using 28 AWG silicon wires with a total length of about 9 cm. In addition it features an open bottom design the motor bell is secured with a C-clip and the weight including the full length of the silicon wires is about 8.4 grams. The next thing I'm going to do is to assemble all these parts together. I'm going to use the Gepper CPX3 frame, the 1206-4500 kV motors, the Gemfen 3035 3-inch propellers, an FRSky XM Plus receiver, the Gepper C stable all-in-one stack which is the same stack that is being used on the Gepper C Phoenix, except this is the version 1.2 that does not support smart audio. And finally, as for an FED camera, I'm going to use the Runcam Racer. After assembling everything together, I'm going to head outdoors and test it out, and I will see you in the end of this video in order to give you my conclusion.
told that Gepard CPX3 was both fun to build and to fly, and I think that the GR1206 4500 kV motors are efficient and also powerful, and I could tell the difference between flying the Phoenix and the PX3, but if you already have the Phoenix, I don't think that you should upgrade the current motors to these ones because the difference is not very noticeable, but if you're going to build the PX3, I think that these motors are going to be a great option. In terms of flight time, I could get about 3 minutes using 550 mAh LiPo batteries, and if you would like to use 4S LiPo batteries, you will need to adjust the PIDs because I got tons of vibration using the 4S LiPo battery. Finally, I really enjoyed the performance of the Runcam Racer Micro FUV camera, and using the GEPRC Stable makes this build really easy, and remember this is the V1, and the one that is used on the Phoenix is the V2, and I think that the V2 VTX performed a little bit better than the V1, and it also supports smart audio, so changing the frequency is much easier on the V2 than the V1. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about any of the parts that I used, feel free to ask it in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.